Live from KPRC, this is Local 2 News at 10. They already know this, but wrong, one wrong move in a small flame on the kitchen stove can suddenly turn into a deadly inferno. We've seen a whole rash of these kitchen fires just in the past month. Fires that could easily have been prevented. So tonight, Local 2 investigator Bill Spencer shows you what not to do when a fire starts and how one inexpensive product could literally save your home and your family. Where? All the fire. Where? Some floor's apartment. Flames ripped through an apartment complex in Lake Jackson. A woman critically burned in Montgomery County trying to put out a grease fire. And Westlake firefighters battling gigantic flames. She had a grease fire that got out of control. Huge fires, all of them grease fires, all started simply by someone cooking on a stovetop. It's the number one cause of home fires in this country. Have to add something to it. Lake Jackson Fire Marshal Randy Krim is on a mission to get the word out about grease fires after battling four of them in the last five months, including this one, which left a total of four families homeless. Now we at Local 2 are teaming up with Randy and Lake Jackson Fire to show you exactly how fast and furious these grease fires can spread. Rule number one, whatever you do, never throw water on a grease fire. Just watch what happens. One. When we put one cup of water Two. on one cup of burning oil. Three. That one cup of water turns into 1,700 cups of steam and the flames explode everywhere. If you were standing right here, you'd have third degree burns. You'd be scarred for life. You might even be killed. What should you do? You just take a, a cover or a pan like this and you can sl actually slide it over. Firefighters say smother the grease fire by sliding a lid over the top of it. Or you can pour baking soda on top of it. Yes, ma'am. See, it just, just connects with the magnet. Or you could simply protect yourself installing a device like this one. This is the stovetop fire stop. If this thing was to flare up, what this would do is, is it would activate and extinguish it like a regular fire extinguisher. Selling at just 50 bucks for two of them, the stovetop fire stop mounts above your stove with a magnet. And when a fire breaks out, the fire stop puts it out, just like that, using fire retardant powder. Once that fuse went off, it just spreads these things open and it drops the powder out. Saving your home, maybe even saving your life. Had anybody been in this kitchen when that fire started? What would have happened to them? When they dumped that water on that oil, they would have sustained second, third degree burns or what may have killed them. You know, Fire Marshal Krim believes so strongly that these stovetop fire stops can prevent fires like these. He's actually obtained financial grants to install them in daycare centers, senior centers, and senior citizens' homes. If you'd like to buy one, they are available through distributors only. For a list of those distributors, just go to clicktohouston.com and click on the hot button. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC Local 2. When the weather